Airseed and Midcoast Council are collaborating on a project here today where we're dropping these pods. These pods contain seeds, nutrients and microbial amendments which will help the seeds get the best chance of life. We're putting the koala feed trees back into the area so the koalas have more habitat that can sustain them for years to come. And this project has been funded by the Australian Government Bushfire Recovery. The seeds in these seed pods here are swamp mahogany seeds and they're a key koala feed tree. This project is really trying to create little safe spaces, little pockets of habitat for koalas so that if another natural disaster hits in the area, the koalas have somewhere to go. Being able to have lots of little pockets throughout that landscape all connecting that habitat together is crucial for enabling those koalas to move through the landscape. Behind me is the Airseed drone Artemis and that's our podding drone. It The Artemis is able to drop 40,000 seed pods a day and that's extremely helpful when we've got habitats like this one in Katai wetlands where it's very difficult to get to certain places by foot. These seed pods can contain multiple seeds of the same species. We can customise them depending on what we're trying to plant. So for the Katai wetlands as an acid sulphate soil problem we've added a little bit of lime into them to try and, to try and boost the immediate environment around the seeds where they land. Airseed system is able to drop up to 16 species at once as well. So even though this is a single species project, for other projects or other pro collaborations with Midcoast Council, we can drop a multiple species project. And that really is a huge advance in biodiverse restoration. Midcoast Council have demonstrated a really quick uptake of new technology. It's been really exciting working with them. They're willing to consider new technological advances in the ecosystem restoration space. 